My name is Geraldine Boylan and I'm a clinical scientist at University College Cork and my area of expertise is neonatal neurophysiology. Quite often newborns are they're very sick and they can't be moved so we can't put them into an MRI scanner and we can't move them to sort of do more, uh, more intensive tests but what we can do is we can put tiny little probes on the surface of the scalp monitor the electrical activity and that tells us in real time how the brain is functioning. It's important to know if babies are having seizures because these seizures can lead to brain damage. And of course the kind of things we see with babies who have seizures in the newborn period are they may have epilepsy, they may develop disability um, or other learning deficits. So it's very important we diagnose them quickly and we treat them but we can't treat them unless we know they're happening. We can monitor them now with modern technology. What we can't do is interpret them on a 24-hour basis when we need them. Because we need to know if these babies are having seizures very early on. And as you know, like, babies can be born any time, day or night. So how do we interpret these signals when we need them? We don't have enough expertise worldwide to do it. What we're doing at the moment is we're trying to develop an automated way of interpreting these signals from the baby's brain. Because if we can do that, we can provide a service 24 hours a day, any day of the week. We're hoping that we can develop an automated algorithm that's sort of an intelligent system that can interrogate the signals, analyse them and make a decision about whether or not this baby is having a crisis or not. We're um, still refining the algorithm, developing the absolute best possible algorithm. At the moment, we can, it works and detects 80% of seizures. We have also got um, funding from the Health Research Board to follow up the cohort of babies we've already monitored for up to five years to see how are they actually doing. We know some of them haven't done very well because babies who have seizures, by their very nature, end up having lots of problems. But some have done surprisingly well, so we want to follow those babies up, look at them at school age, do a proper neurodevelopmental assessment, see if they have mild, moderate or severe learning difficulties and we hope then to get further funding to follow them up to even older and we've been very lucky in Cork that the cohort we have are still in Cork. The parents are phenomenal because they have really engaged with this research. We've already followed them up to two years and they love bringing their children back because they find that this kind of research is something that, you know, they feel will benefit not just them, but also babies in the future. This research now is really sort of taking off and we have the Neonatal Research Centre now is just, has just been set up because up to this we were all over the place. We were kind of in disparate in electrical engineering, the School of Medicine and paediatrics, whereas now we have funding for a new research centre right in the intensive care unit. So it's fantastic, really. It's, it's really coming together.